You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. Is that true? We cut off here. Ape noise says, I'm watching the VOD on my PC build. It's so pretty, but it feels like sneaking into my Christmas presents. <laughs> Am I going to stop? No. <laughs> That's great. What, well, I, I watched some of the Artesian VODs this uh, this weekend. Number number one, it was crazy when I saw Noah uh, say, oh, we're going to do three PC builds tonight. And I looked at the length of the VOD and I'm like, how the hell are you going to do three PC builds in that time? And like, sure enough, like, there was the start of a build and I was like 20 minutes later and like he's mostly done. I was like, what? Uh, and then there was also some cool VODs of him working on a... Um, like a nine thousand dollar custom like case beast PC build. Like I didn't even understand what I was looking at. It was so cool. But uh, yeah, check out check out Artesian on Twitch. It's pretty neat. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Wow, look at this view. Jesus Christ. Hold. Whoa. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Whoa. I ain't sharing mine. I ain't sharing mine. Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. I see them. They'll be there somewhere. Not them. I think I see something. Yup. Is that them? There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. What's crazy is you look at you look at this scenery and you're like, wow, what a cool like backdrop painting thing. And then you realize that there's actually models being rendered down there and you Just can go down there. Him. It's crazy. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on, let's go follow them. Like how insane is this build? Uh, this build, this view. I got a, now I got computer builds on the on the brain. Back on your horse. Let's get after them. They'll be coming through here. <laughs> build suddenly this is Westworld. Oh, there they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. Oh, they're coming down this ravine. They're right here. Why don't we like throw rocks at them? Kick some rocks over. Yeah. anyone with me <laughs> that's great i like that my guess is they'll stop up ahead we can get a better look at them you know his thinking pretty well mm? if you can't outgun them you gotta outthink them i almost fell off the cliff there the canyon opens up down a ways we'll head them off there okay Hi. you're the one that's gonna bump me off the cliff Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Give me my, give me my bold action rifle. Hold on. My rare rolling block rifle. That's what we really need. Yeah, they're stopping. And that sure is shameful. If you do it all the time, it gets fast. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Obviously, these guys. That's what their job is. They do it. They're, they're building PCs, multiple PCs a day, every single day. Still, I find it impressive. Come on, get over here. 
Oh. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. I'm worth ten of them. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Get back here! What? I gotta What's make my decision? Plan? What am I doing? Threaten the gang, sneak, or shoot the gang. Make up your mind, All right, we'll do the sneak. You guys know how much I like stealth. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay down and stay close. All right, we're good at this. Stay close. Let's go. Texas, I no longer have to even look we'll while plugging in most camp. cables on we'll honestly. On rocky paths. That's great though. The streaming PC that I'm uh, I mean the gaming PC that I'm playing on right now, that that was the first Let's get PC I've actually built from from absolute scratch, like every single part. I've done tech support at computer companies before and I was, you know, I've done I've done upgrades on pretty much every part. But I never w built one from from nothing before this this one here, and it went pretty well. But I took my time; it was very 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 slow, and uh, I was showing my son how to do things as we went. But yeah, um, somebody was asking what uh, what pistols I'm using right now. I'm using Flacco's revolver and the Mauser pistol, which I just picked up, so I don't even know how good this is. Together. Okay, we're gonna do it together. Here we go. Come on. Did I freak out the first time I had to lock a PC CPU in the socket? No, no. We can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. Yeah, I gotta throw a knife. Just go for one. You got it. Yeah. Okay, let's move. Up ahead. Another one on the truck. Hit him with an extra. Hold on, I gotta wait, hold on. Hold on, I gotta loot these guys. Wait, she just do another one without me? Uh oh. Come on. She's going too fast now. Games up. Let's do this quick. What? There goes. He just backed off the cliff. Oh yeah, I got you. Did I hit him? That would be amazing if I hit him with that. No. Nope. Didn't go so well. That was like Micah. That looked like Micah, absolutely. Shoot him right there! Oh! Do I see them on the path? Come on, Mr. Burson. What? Let's move. Where are we going? Move. Okay, I'm gonna die. Move it on up. Okay, let's switch guns. Son of a bitch. What the heck? What? Okay. Oh! Okay, see ya. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. Honestly, I don't know how that worked.
There's a lot of people. I wish the stealth part worked a little better there. All right, where'd she go? There. 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 Okay. Come down here. Okay. I'm gonna die. No, don't die. Don't kill me. I want to live. You're dead. Sugar plum fairies. No. Oh boy. We try checkpoint. If all these guys work with this bounty hunter, they must be poor as hell. <laughs> okay. Sneak. And this I'll time we're gonna do it better. Lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Okay. Well, follow away. Let's follow stay away. Down and stay. Okay, what can I use? I've got a melee hatchet, melee cleaver. Oh, I got a tomahawk. I'm gonna use tomahawks. Let's go. Yes, tomahawks. This is the way Arthur would do it. To be fair, it was her fault. I agree, it kinda was. She, we're going down the canyon. She's the one that got impatient. And then just started shooting people. There's too many of them to start shooting like that. You guys, blow us. Let's okay. get closer. Okay, let's get closer. Shh. Right, stealthy. Super stealth. Super stealth, super stealth, super stealth, stealth, stealth. Is that where the stealth ends? Man, he looks different this time. How funny is that? So there's no way to keep that stealthy? That seems scripted, right? Wow, that, that little freeze frame looked like Arthur. That looks like Arthur. It's weird. You see them? On the pale! Come on! Why don't I have the rifle? Oh, I don't have my rifle. That sucks. Coming closer. Do we have a do we have a full like heal? No. Can this do everything? No. I'm gonna see you full of holes. Hi! Ground. You're fine, you're fine. Ow, no you're not. That hurt. Okay, we are getting pelted! Am I 
There's somebody behind us too. Ricochet bullets out. That's great. Right behind you. Let's get to the bottom of this. All right, let's get to the bottom of this. They're coming at us from all over. They are. They are. Rob him. I got a miracle tonic. Cut this off of me. Let's get Finley. Get him out of here. Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. I'm taking Finley. I mean, yes, I'm taking Finley. That's not Finley. Get him up there. Come on. I'm trying, Shane. Get up on my my horse. What's it look like? You dropped your hat. You dropped your hat, Chain Finley. Goes a random horse. Get on there. Hi, gaming outlaw. What's up? Oh, oh, look where you're going. Now All let's right. get out of here. Come on. Let's go. Oh, there's more. Look out! On the How many people did these guys have? That's gotta hurt. They're above us! Like men on horses! Alright, we're gonna need men everywhere! They're all over! You mad man! Alright, kill him. This guy. Next. And finally, tweet of mud over here. Woo! Yeah, we're on the epilogue now. That's true. There's so many people. Imagine being able to make these shots. Like these shots that we're making are unbelievable. Shooting at me. What's crazy about playing? The canyon. Oh. And I think we might be free of them. Ride for it. Let's see what the ending here is. It's interesting when you play Red Dead Online and you start the game and your dead eye doesn't actually slow down time. It becomes impossible to hit things. <laughs> I was playing it a little bit this weekend. I'm like, oh god, this is way different than the uh, solo game where you can just slow down time. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Oh no. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. Should I hit him? If he says another thing, I'll hit him. Wow! Sorry. How did it work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. Well, that's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there? You didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie. You know I'm a rancher now. 
Mostly. Mostly. I mostly and ranch at night. You're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Hey, what the hell? Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. I should dress with that many people. Even if the bounty is like 50 bucks, I by the time they use supplies, they'd each make like 25 cents. Yeah. Sure, that was way too many people in his little gang. Come on. The jail's up here. Almost there, Finley. Then you can use the restroom all you want. Crap, there thanks for following. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. Oh, you're a bitch and a bastard. They brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. All right. I work alone, I ride alone, I don't need anybody. Also, John, please bounty home with me. True. I'm doing good, Killer. How are you? Damn you! Oh, I broke his neck. Ow. Must have hurt. Oh, that's not his cell. Sorry. Object to this. Sorry, you're gonna go in here. The door open. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the cops like the one with the door. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> I like how you could just go into the police station and say, yeah, we There's killed someone. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm, I know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that guy, I like you that guy. to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh... I'll, I'll hang on to that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. Come to I'm the... retired. Sure. <laughs> Come to the ranch. Be well, John. An honest day's labors. All right. How many people did we kill there? What? What? After choosing your approach, escape with Shane Finley at five minutes. I wonder how, uh, how uh, the other methods work out for being up there. All right, we got Assassin's Creed over here. Oh, Albert Cakes. Uncle said you could buy a pre-cut house in Blackwater. So do you have to go to the bank periodically and uh, give them money? How does that work? Does it automatically get taken away? Or do you have to make sure that you go to the bank and pay off your house? It's done automatically. It's automatic. Mission based. Okay. Where's my hat? Um, the cowboy. There we go. probably have to come back in the morning for this I would imagine it's auto pay Ebert okay uh, okay all right okay there's a guy I gotta see hey coming to see you over there guy I have to hunt I have no I have like no food to like I have nothing to eat I literally have like nothing to eat. Oh, I have. No, nope, that's not anything to eat. Yeah. 
Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. He's a comedian over here. You, friend. I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot I know is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which catalog. house do you want? You can buy them from the catalog? What? Each one is entirely unique. That's pretty cool. Also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Did he just pick one and I didn't get a you say? You name here. And uh, you sign your name there. And you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. He just signed another contract. I think we're getting weighed to death. What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle Arm to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... This... This is literally the money pit. Tom Hanks in the money pit. That's what we just got ourselves into. That's what we got ourselves into right here. This is just all of our friends are going to incur debts and it's going to... The house is going to be ready in two weeks, they say all throughout the movie. Two weeks! Alessandro says, how can I continue the game knowing that they will kill Princess in the end? My beautiful white Arabian, who's the best horse in the world. Uh, Alessandro, you're right. You shouldn't, you shouldn't finish the game ever. Just stay in chapter three or something like that for the rest of your life. That's all you have to do. Um... That was like you a year ago, Edot, but with many more options and paperwork to read over and sign. He's not even reading them, he's just signing them. <laughs> uh, I wish you could choose which house, though. Yeah. Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. I'm gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. Oh, you boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. I like All his right beard. Then. He's got a Let's nice go beard. Let's go buy some tools. All right, well, we got a lot of wood. I know the quickest way. Follow me. I'm gonna dump all this wood on the ground when I fall off a cliff and I hit a rock Gonna run over by a train and hit another horse driving a cart Cuz that's what we do in Red Dead Redemption. Say, we hit things with our horse. Is your friend a negro or a red skin? I uh, think a bit of both for what it's worth Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Uh. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, and they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Is that what you think? Unless they take the guns to mean they're carrying something valuable. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. Look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <sighs> All right. I'll do just that. Okay. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. A weapon. I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. 
People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. I was just going to say, when I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. This guy talks too much. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I, I know, know this country, country well. well. He's about to get shot. Good. Am I finally going to meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste. He's Norwegian, they said, right? He worked metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Yes. Fellers up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. I want to see how they do the accent. Just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. All right, let's acquire some tools. Cassie B wants to shoot Wayne. Like I said, Nils is a an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. No, absolutely not. You're there. He is working away. Random new NPC. That I had no say about. Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. Okay. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. <laughs> he's coming with us? <laughs> he just drops there. He's, he's got a fire lit. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Oh no, he's not coming with us. Come on, okay. Let's get moving. Okay. I like that guy. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. I then. thought he was joining us. Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, hadn't they? Took a look at it myself as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you and men like me. Oh god. There we go. Yeah, what happened to your keeping your eyes on the tree line? Keep your I don't like this one bit. Keep your head down! That's a lot! Jesus Christmas! My mini maps lit up like a Christmas tree. Who are these bastards? Who are these people? Who are you people? No more head. Do oh, you have no hands? Shoot him in the butt. Alright, time for a machete. Look or cleaver. Cleaver! 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 Ah! Hey, I was gonna cleave him! Alright. You alive? For now. Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got more? the tools! Uh oh. They grabbed Mr. Wayne! 
Oh God, what? All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Here we go. You mean? Okay, how is this guy still alive? We have to get past this! Where are these guys? They climbed up in the trees. Oh, they're in the trees? How am I supposed to? What's up there first? Oh my God, are you serious? Now we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. No, I don't see him. There he is. Okay, got him. <laughs> That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people right there. Oh, he broke my nose. That was too much. That was too much. Too many people to go into melee. Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. They took him down the hill. They took him down the hill. Dynamite. Yeah, but I gotta save the guy. Wait, do I have to save the guy? The bushes! They're like, go! He's charging! None of you will leave here alive! Work on oh, I don't like the sound of that. Come on, let's no keep moving. Done. We gotta be getting off. I hope so. Get off of me. Of what? Okay, hold on. There's something weird going on here. Ah, damn them. We can take it. Mr. Wayne, we're right here. We're gonna make this another. They got swords. Master. You idiot. We all have swords. Okay. Get them! Cut them. <laughs> I don't like the odds. There's another guy over here. Can't find him. There he is. Okay. Where's Wayne? Let's fix these trees. Find Mr. Wayne. Wayne. Are you supposed to find him? Well, building a house takes tears, sweat, and blood. That's right. Gotta get that pre-cut lumber, even if it costs a full-on massacre. Alright, how am I supposed to find him, gang? Is he up in a tree? Charles, where? There's a loot. The loot. Loot the Skinner brother. Snake oil? Any guidance, gang? How do I find him? 13 hours later. How is he up? You 
Use your yes. Use your yes or your eyes and look around. Thank you. That's very helpful. Duck Hunter behind me. That was probably a while ago. It's somewhere in the yellow area. Thank you. They don't let you run in this area, which is kind of disturbing. I want to run. glitch or something i don't know i don't know what i'm supposed to even see am i supposed to see a body am i supposed to see a person find mr wayne where's batman i walked by it how do i how do you okay is this it here what is this charles i found the tools oh here's the tools Oh, I'm looking for Where's tools, Mr. not a person. Oh no! Shit. What? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, at least I gotta move fast. Come on. <laughs> um. Back to the road. Rip. Rip that guy, but he talked too much, honestly. John, we've lost one man already. Oh. Can we keep moving? What do you mean? I am moving. Yeah, he ain't gonna talk no more. God damn it. A few minutes ago he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. They bought he? their tickets. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. All right, see, now we have a whole new rival gang that hates us. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he? <laughs> Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. Oh my lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Nothing nice. All right. Let's get out of here. Those tools won't fall off the back. Come on. We gotta go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Oh, gotta wait for Charles. Come on. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. Oh, those are nice. What kind of land are those bought? horses? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. But they're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. Horses won't go this fast for long. Okay, fine. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed. It's different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Yeah. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back. Massacred. Uncle! 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 I was, uh, you useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. A lot of them? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and get poor Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well. 
We'll be safe together. Sure. Yeah, always safe together. If you say so. <laughs> We've never had any problems when we're all together. Right? Never? And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Do we even know where she is? How are we gonna find her once, like, it's ready? You know? How are we gonna do that? The toolbox. Bank loan received $23. Alright. I did none of those things. I'm doing fine, Killa. If I build it, they will come. So we can rest, we can cook. We can fast travel from the map. Morning to you. Morning. Good morning. I'm so happy we have Charles back. How's it going? All right. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love when they really don't have anything to say. It's all like awkward. Yeah. Just call her on the phone. All right, I'll call her on the phone. So what are you doing, Uncle? Oh, Uncle's got Does a plans quest. make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. While you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. <laughs> oh, here comes Charles. <laughs> Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. <laughs> right. He's Should right. He's right. <laughs> You're very annoying. <laughs> oh, I love this. We're gonna see like Uncle sleeping. Yeah, Uncle was sleeping in that one. Oh god, I gotta do this. Lift it up. Lift it up and carry it. This could be a nice house. Hammer the nail, hammer the nail, and put it in place, put it in place. There's a little burb. There's a little burb sitting there watching. Jay, that Blue Jay's watching us. In all the scenes, that Blue Jay's in there. Well, let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. We have fun. The, snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever. I love that little blue jay. What the weather wow, our hair's getting long. We're together. The blue jay says these idiots don't know how to build a nest. It's true. There's a nice floor. John lost his shirt. I'm 
I'm building the house. I know. I've been watching this and listening to you play yeah. while I've been researching how to make a flower bed for uh, sunflowers. Oh, okay. So I'm kind of like. You just need a little blue jay and a and an uncle that doesn't want to work. Cool. Sunflower bed. I like when you're like you you're talking to me and it's like um so quiet in here in the house, but the things going on in my head are like super loud. It's funny. Like like there's a legit like house building song in my head. <laughs> Like down and a down and a down with words and everything. You oh, gotta nice. get yourself a hammer and get yourself a nail and <laughs> climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail on it. <laughs> well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind. Whenever I agree. Charles is such a good friend helping him out building this house. I'm assuming John's at least buying pizza for him. That is a big house. You're right. That's a real nice house. We're building the whole damn thing. I swear, if Abigail doesn't appreciate this, that's it. Ourselves a house. And I think that's everything. <laughs> also, that house did not John fit Marston, on two cards. True. You have a home. So do you. Oh. What? And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Now I gotta write a letter. My darling Abigail. Nice. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Jim, John Jim, John Jim. Jingle Heimer Schmidt. Yeah. A few days later. <laughs> of course I'll use antlers for my decorations. I gotta shave my beard. Man, his long hair's getting back though. That is such a cool house. That's nice. That is nice. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? It's that blue jay. Where'd that blue jay go? No, the blue jay that helped us. Hammer the nails in with 80% accuracy. What do you mean? There was there was accuracy on the nails? <laughs> yeah, what's the what's the internet connection like? We gotta go check out the house. Oh, just broke my door. 
All right, so what do we got? I have <laughs> just there's doors locked in my own house. Oh, it's gotta be ew, that's gotta be uncle's room. That's terrible. There's like vomit on the sheets or something. I don't know what's going on. That's disgusting. Uncle's gotta leave. We need furniture. Man, from the outside, this place looks awesome, but we have ruined the inside already. We got a banjo, at least. Like, someone didn't clean up their bowl of SpaghettiOs from last night. Like, what the hell? Ooh. Ooh. Is how we go upstairs? You're gonna need to clean up and decorate before the wife arrives. And you know, I think John is thinking that his wife will do all the decorating and like clean up the inside. That's the, that's that's his mistake right here. I swear she's gonna see this and not realize that we built the whole thing from scratch or something. I don't know. She's gonna diss it somehow. You just built it two minutes ago. It got dirty real fast. It said, it said a few days later. A few days later. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Uncle. Uncle is lazing about, but there's plenty of ranch work to do. There's plenty to do out on in a ranch. All right. All right. Let's go out to Uncle. Ready, boy? I do need food. I do. I, I actually have to hunt something. At some point. We only have a half hour left, so let's see if we can do one more mission. Woo! It's installing now. You bought the top edition. My fault. Thanks for using my code, Ch uh, that chap zap. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this game. Yeah. Where is Red Dead Redemption 2 supposed to take place? It takes place in the United States, uh, starting at 1899, I believe. But all of the towns and states and everything that they mention are fictitious. Yeah. So Southern USA. They mention like real world places, but all the places you go to in the game are fictitious. Yeah. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin' so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming? Ranching? Planting something? Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so... So cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. Mm -hmm. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fillers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Oh, no. We're going to buy another barn now? We're going to... Oh, my God. We're going to get in so much I debt. I can't move like I used to. Jesus Man, Christmas. I never was that fast. Adverse is, uh, what part... In the black water. This is, uh... I just looked it up. What year is this part of the epilogue in since it started? It was in the U.S. Uh, yeah, like 1906 or something like that? Yeah, I think so. They mentioned it at some point. Let's go. Now, this fella probably saw you 
thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube, doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Wait for me! What are you doing? What the hell are you doing back there? We gonna stay together now? your fault. You missed it. By all means, continue. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even I'll got furniture. Well <laughs> you haven't even got furniture. It's true. This is him. All right. We also need, um, Howdy, we do need, we need furniture too. Can we buy that while we're here? It's all over me. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? <laughs> oh, I love that. I had my doctor who I've been seeing for years and years and years. He came. He came into my uh, into the room. I've been waiting there. You know, I'm waiting in the in the little uh, office or whatever. I, I've been seeing him for years, and he ran in. And he he go. He just re reached out his hand and very confidently was just like, "Steve, it's good to see you." I'm like, "Richie?" And he's like, "Richie, yeah, Richie." I was like, "Dude, I've been coming here for years." <laughs> oh man, we need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's uh, but it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. Pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How did Uncle help there at all? We didn't even talk price. How are we gonna pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. Uh -oh. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> okay. Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Okay, but I was gonna get a haircut. I gotta get rid of this beard. Well, she All let right. me... the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I... So where is this going? Oh my God, that's far. Let's get going. Well, how long it'll stay that way? An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. <laughs> How am I gonna pay for the haircut? Good point. Did she say hey. something about him? Oh. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. 
Del okay. Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. Californios? And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Ooh, ooh, Burnings, ooh. killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the Sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's make The Sheriff of Tumbleweed. A hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Whoa! I got some air on that one. I got some so, big time air on that one. Woo. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had <laughs> Sadie doesn't say a word. She just goes on right on with the conversation. I love that. Some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about. Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched it. Bark the odd order at us. Yeah. It's solid though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. That's right. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. Uh, you know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. what the bank says. Ah. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes. Yes, ma'am. All right, what do we want to do? Uh, Take one Man. of these. This is painted sky. This is painted sky. I don't have any apples. Up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. What should I grab? Let's grab ourselves a gun. Just in case things get ugly. And I grab myself a bow. In case I want to be all stealthy. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Okay. <laughs> I shot an arrow through the window. Kick! Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and nobody will get hurt! Okay. Alright, here we go. Woo! 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 Dang. You got him? I think so. I don't know. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Oh! Ow! Yeah, that's him. That might look like him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Bloop! Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. Ramon? We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Well, we're going. We don't need Rhodes. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. That isn't any bounty. Oh, shut up. <laughs> okay. I 
Actually, it wasn't that bad. We just had, we didn't kill anybody. We just had to punch a guy. How was that? Welcome to Rhodes. Gotta go to Rhodes. Proud hells. Can I get my haircut this here? This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Everyone, we had to kill the sheriff. Killed everybody here. Every town that you go to in this game is like, yeah, I remember Bring killing everybody here. The front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Ramon. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Two hundred. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help what? me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Oh, no. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> oh no, he's got a plan. He's got a plan. We should have gotten out of there. That mustache is comically large. Why does he have bullets still on his belt? Why would we not take his gun belt? Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Okay. I am Legolas. Shit. Legolas, Legolas. Ah, oh, that hurt a little bit. I gotta admit, that hurt. I'm running scared. Oh, I, I am low health. Bye. Jesus, who's hitting me? Oh, this guy. Who's hitting me too? There's somebody else. Oh, not you, not Sadie. Who else? There's a guy over here somewhere. Where is this guy? Lego last. <gasps> what was it? Come on! They distracted us. The jail! The jail! They blew my jail apart! He's gone. He's gone. Uh -oh. uh, well, we brought him in. 
Now, pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. Are you kidding you me? You want to get shot today as well as robbed, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. Double. And another $50 besides. Okay. $100. 75. I can't go higher. Done. Done. Let's go. Let's go, Jim Milton. My God. Of course, it was too easy grabbing him the first time because you're going to have to grab him again. That's why. All right. So the arrows was a lot of fun, but I noticed like almost every one of those guys I shot an arrow at didn't die. <laughs> I had to do it several times. They should have 75 and dead or alive. Okay, dead or alive is pretty good. Plus, I'm making an extra 55 cents there. Okay. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's. What is that red mark on your radar? Bleeding fish. I didn't want to tell anybody, okay? But this is the most secret spot in the whole game. There's something really awesome there. So I keep it marked. Clearly, he ain't done enough. Do you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez. We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's Gavin's location. Gavin! It's Gavin! Thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God. The state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. True. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's a little rough. Helvetica says this is part combination of the plots of the films Unforgiving and 310 to Yuma. Down there. Nice. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Yeah. I had a dean. I had a friend Go. in college. I think uh, there's an old water mill by the creek bed. Who uh, created is. his D&D character Kids based on the Unforgiven. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Come on! Hey, hey, I was gonna get a better weapon. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. 
Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they He's look amazing. asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Okay, no pressure. Hey! Damn it, Sadie! Ooh, I threw fire on him. Perfect. Oh, that was good. Get out of here, dork. I knocked his hat clean off. I'm coming. I'm coming. Fine, that was perfect. He landed, he landed that on his feet, by the way. I don't know if you noticed. That was pretty good. I shoot okay? They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about that. Yeah! What? I was doing amazing. Sadie died? Ramon Cortez got away. Okay. If I was Geralt, that would have killed me instantly. It would have. True. You're not getting away. All right, we're not getting away this time. Okay. RFD! Thank you so much, RFD! Thousand bitties! I just wanted to give a shout out to Sidewalks for keeping me off the streets. <laughs> Thank you, dude! That was very kind of you. I'm gonna get him. I got the guys on the bridge. What is going on here? Hi, Mad Game. Hi, Ash. Sadie has died this time. Y'all, get down here! I'm coming! Right, let's try that again, I guess. I don't know how I can make this easy, any any easier. I'm gonna go with the shotgun, I guess. I shoot okay. They're still alive, ain't they? Let's see what we can do about that. Bang! 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 Go. She just called me Ritlock? Oh, oh that's a lot of people, right? <laughs> it's like raining gang members. Drop it! In the boat. We got to clear that beach. I'm trying to clear the beach. We got this. He's rowing out of here! Should I kill him? You wanna die right now, Cortez! <laughs> I'm going to die anyway! Aim at his boat, Captain Alive. So you line. really want me to shoot you? You might get lucky in court! Get over here! Alright, alright, amigo! 33! Try anything clear! 
33. Wow, that's a long time, Bogaturlal. That is a long time. Demos Thanes with the 33 month resub. How you doing, man? Thank you so much for that resub. You're awesome. Never, you're gonna get shot. Oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. There we go again. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down now! Ow! Wow, that's a lot. They really like this guy, huh? They keep coming! Up. Took off his hat. Like you were saying? Are we done? We done? We might just be. Whew. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. I'm gonna loot him again. I'll load this fool on the horse. Whew. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Yeah, Rugged, you can check that link that Marauder just put in chat to see uh, my PC specs. The game's running perfect. It runs really, really well. Stow him and we can go. Come on! Meet the horse. Ah. Bleeding fish, I'm just oh, joking boy. with you. It's me again. That's just a random mark I just put on the map. Let me take it off for you. I was just trolling. I'm uh, just trolling. Time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? Uh, Hold your horse there. <laughs> All right, beautiful. All right, here we go. Can we all go now? <laughs> She's literally like, "Hold your hey, horse hey, there." Hey. <laughs> you are a dead woman, and you are a dead man. The De Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you, and we will kill you, you, and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. Oh, you see, yeah. Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Sure. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold, $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will, because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. The voice acting on Relax, Ramon Mister. is the worst. Yeah, it, it's really not go. great. Oh, you made a big mistake. He's like a cartoon oh, character. You, you should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me, because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Here we are, back again. Back again. Did Looks they fix like... the jail? <gasps> they probably didn't fix the jail. We're gonna put him in the back of the uh, the wagon, maybe this time, instead of the jail. Get him down. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. We got him. Oh. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? 
It needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come Good. along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus what? $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's Why? go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> what? Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. That was tough. That was a long mission. That was long. And it's still going. I have to wrap things up. I'm getting a phone call from my... Uh, there we go. Bank loan received 234. Bank debt paid 150. Okay. Wish I understood exactly how much we, we owe. Alright. Get four hip fire kills, hey? Eh? 